Alrighty, here we go. This will be my official unboxing and review of... Dun, 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 dun. This is... What is this? The Acer Iconia Tab 8W model number W1-810-10W9. Uh, this particular machine has several different uh, model numbers depending on where you buy it and how it's featured. Uh, this particular one is featured with with Bing. With Bing. This particular model comes from the Microsoft Store. It's part of their signature series. Basically all it is is uh, all the bloatware and crapware has been removed. Uh, as far as features, it's pretty much like most of the tablets this size, seven, eight, 7 inches, 8 inches. Uh, Intel Atom processor, uh, ZZ3735G. Now here it says up to 1.8 gigahertz. Basically what it does, it runs at 1.3 and when it's taxed, made to work, it will burst to 1.83 gigahertz. Quad core processor, uh, 2 megabytes, level 2 cache. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 1 gig of uh, system RAM, 32 gigs of storage on board. That's nice to have because you'd be surprised how quickly Windows will eat up 16 gigs. Uh, wireless is 802.11 B, G, and N, plus Bluetooth. Not sure what level of Bluetooth it is, whether it's 3 or 4. Uh, two cameras, one front, one rear, both 2 megapixel. Uh, this particular one comes with uh, Office 365 personal one-year subscription. So, because it comes from the Microsoft Store. Acer. Now it's uh, Tab 8W. I don't know if W means Windows or White. Uh, we're not sure. But here we go. It's a lovely box. Pop it open, and right on the top we have Microsoft stuff. Welcome to your signature edition. It gives you this here, this little card with the information. Now I cheated a little bit. I already opened this and got it all set up, so we didn't have to go through all that nonsense here. Uh, it helps greatly in doing a review to have it all set up. So it comes with this. Welcome to it. Your new PC is here. All the crapware, bloatware is gone. It's fast and it's protected. Apparently they've vastly improved uh, Defender. It's now quite the uh, antivirus program as well. So we shall see about that. Build your own cloud. That's uh, an Acer thing. Um, I got the same kind of thing when I picked up a 21.5 inch Android Acer. I've done a review on it. It's here somewhere on my channel. So this is Acer paperwork. Setup guide. Basic introduction to, you know, using Windows, swiping, tapping, punching, gesturing, you know, all that stuff. Recovery management, all that stuff. This is Acer paperwork. Now, what we're here for. There's the device. We'll get to that in just a moment. More Acer paperwork. This is probably the, uh, the quick guide in 25 different languages. Stuff down inside here. Over here we've got the wall wart. The retractable, retractable, two amp, I believe. I don't know. I have to put my eyeballs on. <laughs> I can't see. One moment, please. Two amps. So it's pretty strong. That's the wall ward. And over here on this side, we have. Power cord. 
standard, you know, micro USB power cord. All right, that's the box, the unboxing. Not overly exciting. It's mostly exciting for me for the first time, you know, oh, 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 just like a kid at Christmas. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, presents, presents, presents. And here we have the device. It's in a strangely folded protective plastic envelope. And there it is. See that? Grungy on the finger on the on the screen already. Alright. There's me. Hi! Eight inch tablet. Upside down. <laughs> white on the back. That's why I say I don't know if W means white or Windows. There's the Intel inside. All the information there for the tablet. It's white. There's my recording rigging. Oh, it's recording. Good. Uh, information here on all its goodies. There's me again. Press the power button. Usually have to hold it for about three or four seconds. One, two, three, four. And there it comes. Acer Explorer Beyond Limits. And there it pops up into the Windows lock screen. 11:21 a.m. Saturday, May 9th. There's my secret password screen. Let me just uh, put my secret password on here. Comes with a touchscreen keyboard. And there it goes. Start bumps up into the start menu your standard Windows 8 start menu now I've removed a lot of crap that I don't use that I'll never use over here in the bottom no no here and there's the desktop the familiar desktop as you can see I've removed some of the Microsoft stuff and Chrome is my preferred browser. VLC is my preferred media player. And from there, it's just pretty much Windows. Now, I bought this little doohickey here, this tablet, so that I could, uh, as a shuttle between my uh, studio, where I do my videos, and my post-production facility, which is you know upstairs in my spare room. I just use this to uh, download uh, the video camera I'm shooting with has an SD card uh, rather than take the card out bring it upstairs and forget it upstairs what I do is transfer the files onto this my voice recorder that I use same thing transfer the files to this device stick it up here in this YouTube folder here and I take this upstairs it's logged into the uh, home group with my other computer so I don't even have to plug it into the other computer and I can connect to it and take the files off it and it beats bringing everything upstairs and forgetting it upstairs so I can leave all my equipment my recording equipment downstairs not much to say about it I mean it's Windows 8 what more can you say about Windows 8 if you're familiar with it great if not now's a good time to learn I picked this up from the Microsoft Store. Had good uh, experience with them. I ordered it on a Sunday afternoon. It was in my hands by Tuesday afternoon, which is good considering they're in Pennsylvania and I'm in Northern Ontario. So you got here pretty quick, you know, going through customs and all that nonsense. Now, to tell you the the one bad thing I found with this it, it's it's a minor thing it's not life-changing or anything but I found uh, it comes with a 
the wireless is uh, Broadcom and I've determined that Broadcom is probably not the best in terms of wireless um, I find when it's when I'm browsing and during a particularly intensive uh, web page access um, my I use a Bluetooth mouse uh, and the pointer is very erratic when the web page is taxing the system and here's the Bluetooth mouse and that's the only thing I found so far is that the, the, the wireless radio can't handle uh, intensive access and uh, use the mouse at the same time. I found when I use a standard wireless mouse it's fine. Because one of the accessories I got for this this device here let's uh, prop it up here with my something. Prop it up with something. Kill the reflections. There we go. Still can see my face. I picked up one of these which is a USB 3.0 hub. It's got three ports and a card reader on the end. So, you know, I take the card out of my camera, jam it in there, jam it. <laughs> this is a standard USB 3 hub. The card in there. The other end has got this little doohickey here. Ha ha ha! OTG! USB on the go. It plugs on there. Now that will plug into the side of the tablet here, into the charging port, and now it becomes a USB host. And I can put a wireless mouse, uh, a self-powered hard drive, uh, CD drive, anything like that. Thumb drives through this end into the tablet itself. So that helps with the shuttling of files. Plus I can use it on my computer as, regular, as just a regular USB 3 hub. So that's one of the accessories I got for it. The other accessory I got for it was this. This is a hip streak sleeve. Bluetooth keyboard. It's removable. It doesn't have any problem communicating with the tablet at all. Once it's uh, paired, it'll if this is turned on before the tablet, the tablet will find it and it'll start working. Chop chop. Tablet bol bolts in there. Yeah, it's springy there. This doesn't come with it. This was extra. So I have this Bluetooth keyboard and the uh, Bluetooth mouse. Blue uh, Bluetooth mouth. Yes, Bluetooth mouse. You're looking at me again. Stop looking at me. Not much more I can say about it. Um, one of the other things I did get for it, being cursed with fat fingers as I am, I found this at the buck store. It's a classic Bic crystal, standard Bic pen. And this end is a, come on, focus. Move the device. This end is the, uh, thing. I can't even think of the word right now. <laughs> the pointy screen thing. Oh, see, it's gone to sleep. See, there you go. Stylus, that's the word I'm looking for. And as you can see, today it is 9 degrees Celsius, which is pretty chilly. There's a bit of a chill in the air. Now, I haven't tried using the camera. The camera's over here. I haven't tried using it with Skype or anything. Click on that, bring up Chrome. Voila, there you go, la dee da. My fingers prevent me from being able to touch such tiny stuff. So it's very useful. Fire up the Bluetooth mouse here. See if it finds it. I have to go through all the pairing thing again. Oh, well, if you can see it, 
there's a little pointy thing. Now when I first took it out of the box there were like 82 updates <laughs> already. Um, plus when you plug in the uh, mouse there's drivers and stuff it installs so it's a little bit better now the pointer. It moves fairly smoothly it's not so erratic. It's handy because you know trying to touch little things with big fingers is <laughs> difficult. There we go again with the There, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, the only negative thing I found so far with it is the, the the wireless radio tends to make the mouse erratic when you're doing intense surfing. But like I said, using this, plugging this in with a regular wireless mouse it doesn't have the issue. So I, it's a limitation, I guess, of the Broadcom chip that's in it. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it is Acer, so I mean Acer makes pretty good equipment. The last tablet I had before this one, <laughs> I gave it a fair shake and uh, no, I couldn't even give it a good rating. It was just a horrible experience right out of the box. This took it out of the box, fired it up, it registered, activated, did all that nonsense. Went through the rigmarole of you know setting it up. So so far it's so good. This particular device does not have does not have mini HDMI, so you can't plug it into the big screen. Uh, one thing too I notice when it's in the uh, case, when it's in its folio here. Excuse me. When it's in its folio, it's a good idea to lock the orientation because when it goes to sleep and it wakes up, it likes to be vertical. It wakes up vertically, so you hit Windows O and it locks the orientation so that when it goes to sleep, when it wakes back up from sleep, it comes back into the uh, landscape mode. So there you have it. Maybe a little long-winded. Um, I guess I'm as thorough with it as I could have been. Well worth the uh, $149 the Microsoft Store. Uh, it's pretty well the same price everywhere no matter where you buy it. $149 is the price. Uh, it has a couple other model numbers. Uh, there's a model number W181011UC, which does not come with Bing. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, you get that from Tiger Direct, Newegg, Staples Online, places like that. Uh, then you get the W181193. Uh, that comes right from Acer. That's their version of it, full of their bloatware and stuff. Uh, you can also get it from Amazon or Newegg with that model number. But this particular model coming from the Microsoft Store, it's part of the Microsoft Signature Series. The model number is W1810-10W9. I don't know how long they're offering this for 149 but I think it's worth the price given my first Acer Android tablet, 7-inch, was about $100 more than this. So, yeah, and that was only two years ago. Uh, also on the Microsoft Store, they have a HP 7-inch tablet signature series, which they're offering for $99 if you can handle the smaller screen. I opted for the bigger screen because, well, fat fingers and failing eyes. So there you have it. That is my unboxing and review. Acer, 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 Acer. Iconia Tab 8W, model number W1810 10W9.